Kevin, what is, as an accountant, you obviously deal with setting up and helping people with their financials. What are some of the common mistakes that you see when clients come to you and they've got a property and obviously there's things haven't been done right from, yeah. from their previous experience. What are some typical mistakes that you see when you're doing people's property? Probably accounting? the biggest mistake we see is no depreciation or special building right off being claimed in tax returns because they're not aware of it. You know, so they try to do their tax returns themselves, not aware of what depreciation is or special building write off, and they're not claiming it. And some of those are big claims every year. You know, I had one particular fellow come to see us, he had four investment properties and he hadn't claimed depreciation on any of them, all special building write off. And he was a pretty big income earner. He, he could be costing himself maybe tens of thousands of dollars. It, Terry, it does. It adds up very quickly, especially when you're talking, you know, four years worth of tax returns that he has been claiming he's owned the properties, you know. Can you, can you claim them back if you miss something? We can, go back, there, can you go we, back? we can go back two years. So that's our limit from the last assessment. You said a minute, you said so, a quantity surveyor's report. So who, you can do it as an account? Can you no, do it? No, we can't do it. We're not valuers. We have to get a proper quantity surveyor. And, you know, if the ATO come back and say, look, can we see how you've calculated those depreciation? We've got the quantity surveyor's report, and those guys are experts at what they do. So in that quantity surveyor's report, there are two things. We've got the Division 40. 43. And we've got the Division 40. 43. Correct. So, Correct. So Division 43 is... The building structure. Yeah. And so that's written off over a... 40 years. Based on the cost of construction of the year that it was Correct. constructed. And you're doing 40 is, is your fixture fixed and fittings. And fittings. Yeah. So things like your air conditioning system, your fans, your blinds, carpets, dishwasher, carpets, etc. All that sort of stuff. Some things will have different lives. Correct. If I buy a brand new property, which yes. is obviously what we do a lot of, um, is that fully deductible, The whole, all the costs of that? Fixture and fittings? I always, well, the, the fixture and fittings are right, written off over what they call a useful life. Uh, so we'll get a quantity surveyor's report, or you'll organise a quantity surveyor's report, and that will give us all those details, you know, the cost base for the air conditioning, hot water services, carpets, and then we'll put that into the tax return, and we'll claim that every year for them. They'll also break it up in between. So when you buy a property, you've got the cost of construction, you've got the fixtures and fittings, and then you've got the land cost. Now, the land cost is not depreciable because it increases in value over time but the things like the fixtures and fittings you know carpets wear out fans wear out cooktops wear out so we get those allowances for them of course with the building exactly the same except it's a lesser rate it's only 2.5 percent so it's a 40 year life now recently about three or four years ago the tax office changed their rules which they regularly do anyway and again another reason why you need a good property focused account, so they're up to, up to legislative changes. You, if you bought a property that had already been resided with somebody else, so it was a second-hand property, whether it be a year old or 30 years old, the, you missed out on your Division 40, your fixtures and fittings. Depreciation. Right off. Yep. Is that correct? Correct, correct. So what the, what the tax office and the government have tried to encourage people to do is encourage people to build new homes because that keeps our carpenters, it keeps our developers, it keeps all our you know, trades people busy. So the government has said basically, look, no depreciation on second-hand property from the 9th of May 2017. Anyone assigned a contract after that date, no depreciation at all, sorry. <laughs> and what that does is encourage people to buy new property. 